2024 Masters here at Augusta National. Hopefully we are live. It is early here on Sunday morning. Just coming up for 10.30 a.m. But today it's going to be a live stream with a difference. I will be commentating. It will be early junior, a.k.a. Leo, who will be playing as me. Round number three didn't go well. We just had to speed play it due to being unavailable all day yesterday, guys. Um, I went minus one. So we are currently minus 17. It was brutal conditions round three. It was 15 to 25 mile per hour wins. Leo is three shots off the lead. I think it's Scotty Scheffler. It does have the lead, just like in real life. But I'm actually not seeing the live stream up on my feed yet. There we go. I am just going to make a few changes, guys, before Leo tees off. But hopefully the audio and everything as well. Please let me know in the comment section if the audio is not as good as normal. It's a different headset I'm using. This one's wired just so I can um, have a distance between Leo and myself. But really looking forward to this fourth and final round. It's going to be a test for Leo. I think it is one he'll probably smash. So it has been a bit of a tag team. Like I said, I struggled round number three. I played it late last night. Um, I was tired after traveling all day. And I had really unlucky win conditions. But let just let me just make a few edits. To this video. I've got no idea why my thumbnail that I created and saved is not showing. But I do hope you guys are well. I do hope you have enjoyed the first three rounds off the Masters. I think today's going to be epic. There's four or five players that can win it. Leo Shout, uh, Auberg. I think he's three shots off. He's definitely in with a shout. Um, I, I called out Rory McIlroy. He didn't have a good round. Very mixed bag first round. I think it was three birdies and two bogeys. Or four birdies and three bogeys. And then yesterday, on a, um, Friday, he just completely fell apart. But here we go, guys. Leo will be teeing off. We will stay quiet for this cutscene. I'm sure there's a lovely cutscene coming up. Sunday at Augusta. Three simple words that bring to mind those timeless images of yesteryear. And what lies in store today? What decisions to be made? What parts to agonize over? What roars will echo and reverberate through the second nine? And who will be left standing in the twilight? Trophy aloft, sporting a new green jacket. This is the final round of the Masters. EA Sports and the PGA Tour so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today could be a coronation in the world of golf. So here we are, Champion Scotty Brown. Scheffler, three-shot lead Green over Leo. Jacket awarded and enough memory Shane Lowry, the Irishman in the mix as well. But we have already seen three scintillated, sometimes spectacular rounds of golf. Leo does have the honor. Twilight comes calling later today. Eight to twelve mile per hour wins, guys. To check the Sunday leaderboard. On top is the 2022 Masters champion, Scotty Scheffler. He's at an even 20 under. Solid Leo opening tee shot from Leo. Again, trying to claim yet another Let's see what Scheffler can produce here. Just fine. A good I keep saying it, guys. I, I can't understand how the, the AI comes up so, so short off the tee. It's very, very frustrating. That's well played. Wow. Good look at Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. 
staring at Let's see if Leo can get front. inside Wind Scott Scheffler here. The hole. Wind definitely hurting in his face. He's playing a finesse eight iron. It's a really nice strike. Needs to go. Needs to go. It's a good shot. He's played it really, really well, actually. Scheffler downhill putt. This is going to turn from right to left. There will be a lot of movement in this putt. Double breaker, actually. And what, I tell you what, Scheffler, when we played with him round two, he just couldn't miss a putt. And it looks like that's going to be a common theme today. So let's see if Leo can follow suit. These are the kind of putts you do have to convert round Augusta. I didn't make enough of them at times, but eight under, eight under, and like I say, yesterday was minus one. Very frustrating round yesterday off camera. Hey, how's it going, Fairhand Madam? Welcome to the live stream. Thanks, Blake. Really appreciate the feedback, guys. And there we go. That's why I've tag teamed this man in. He moves to minus 18. Still three shots off the lead. Will Zalatoris also in the mix as well. Leo taking that down the right hand side. That's going to leave him a nice angle wow, for this fourth pin. Perfectly. That's going to get a good amount of run out and going to leave a great angle to attack this second green. That ball landed on a downslide. If you are enjoying the content, guys, please stop. make sure to leave a like. If you are new to the channel, smash the subscribe button for more EA Sports PGA and PGA Tour 2K23 content. Scheffler, that needs to kick left. It did. Yeah, Just avoids that fairway bunker. Well done off the tee here at hole number two. Wow. That one's running so hot. Scheffler running into the patrons there. That's going to be a tough up and down for Birdie. Location back right players are going to look at this and really try and be aggressive. Ball is set up to go left to right, which is exactly what this shot requires. Let's see if Leo can get close here. Finesse seven iron. Pin tuck back right. That's going to be long as well. Side by side almost with Scotty Scheffler. Both players really needing to get up and down for birdie, especially Leo. He's brave here playing the spinner. But at the same time, he may be able to hold this. This is a downhill slope. It's a great effort, and I tell you what, it's going to be a top in birdie for Leo. Hopefully Scheffler makes a mess of this. We really could do with him making a little error here. And he has done. He's found the fringe. That is not going to be a, a certainty putt here for Birdie. Wow. And just like round two, Scheffler is just not missing anything, guys. It's so, so frustrating. Leo's went Birdie, Birdie. As a Scheffler. Birdie at number two. Scheffler still with a three shot lead. Under for the tournament. But strap yourselves in here, guys, for an epic round of golf. This is going to be a superb fourth and final round adventure. Leo's going to be going try hard here. Okay, Stay tuned to the channel as well. We did have a live stream on Wednesday to celebrate the build up to the Masters. I think there was nine of us. Had a, an alt shot, not an alt shot, a stroke play match round the par three at Augusta National. And Leo shot the perfect round in simulation difficulty. That will be up in the channel nice in the coming here. days. Coming you don't want to miss that. 
Scheffler from 100, 100 yards. Yeah, that's a good shout, Blake. Playing as Jack Nicholson is always a pleasure. Uh, that's a bit of a head turner, really. That was a green light situation from that distance, and you know, far from the best. The sad thing is, today. it's pretty easy to beat the AI in quick play. The real test is when they are here in career mode. Leo going with a spinner. A shot right, that needs to go. That's going to come back down. That's going to be a tough uphill part. If anyone can make it, though, okay, it is Leo. Surface, but work to do from there. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. Yeah, we've got two things to contend with here. A lot of First, movement here, left to right. Back down the hill, but also this is going to be working its way from left to right. Surely not. Oh my goodness, what an effort from Scheffler. At least yeah, Leo's left going. himself a, lot of a putt. Coming left here. This Slightly bird. downhill, but it will be uphill as well in the middle section, as you guys can see. is going to break from right to left. Needs to stay high. Needs to stay high. It's a good effort. Missed it on the low side. Last six, seven feet there. It's really shot. From right to left. Neil taps in for the par. Good start though. Birdie, birdie, birdie par. Sadly, Scheffler's went the same. We really need Scheffler to to make a bogey here. This is a brutal four. hole, guys. I keep saying it. You're taking par on this hole every round. I think Leo's probably going to play for the backstop here. But Bunker's not the worst case scenario. Bunker leaves him a pretty straightforward up and down for the par. He's going to play a finesse free hybrid, full loft into this 8 to 12 mile per hour wind. Wind should hit is pretty hard. It's a nice strike. That is a nice strike. This could be a worldy go. Oh my goodness, he's a yard off of that being a tremendous yeah, goal shot. But like I said, it's right not the worst case scenario. He should get up and down for the par. Little pick. Scheffler's played a fade there, you can clearly see it. That's long. It's going to work its way down and away from okay, the hole. It actually stayed there. I'm quite surprised that stayed there. That's a nasty par. So a wayward tee shot and down to Noda. Popular place here 95 to 100 percent their balls in this front into right the wind gonna require a perfect execution to still have a chance to save it's a nice shot mm, a little bit of underswing right and this is a horrible pop for Scheffler leading just a few feet for bar downhill turning from left to right that needs to slow down Oh my god, guys, what chance do you have? What chance do you have? We are playing on the most difficult AI setting, which is 100. So we've went from three shots behind to four. That is a tremendous birdie. That's insane from Scheffler, and maybe that's an omen for the real thing later on today. I can't see anyone other than Scheffler winning it now. But what do I know? A shot right. It should be okay though. The ball will kick left here. Okay, that's going to be safely in the fair. Yeah, Blake. I mean, he's the world's number one, isn't he? A final round surge. Jack Nicholas is 99 rated. The only pro golfer that is that prestigious rating. But yeah, I think Scotty should be rated higher. He's certainly playing like a 99 rated golfer here. But this really frustrates me about the AI, is how short they are off the tee. That's going to be a horrible putt. At least it's an uphill putt, but it's going to be a tough one. This is a tough pin position today, especially with that wind pushing him. 
Let's see what Leo can produce here. Green. He's going to have to play some exquisite golf now. But we all know, if you have seen him play before, he's more than capable of it. Nine iron finesse, full loft. He's swinging well, by the way. That's leak left with that tiny slope. That's going to be a tough downhill part. Deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, you really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this Scheffler from downtown, good. and he's playing quick, Scheffler. He is, oh my God. Oh, wow. so Guys, you are seeing a master class from Scotty Scheffler here. First part of this putt's downhill, then it's uphill. Leo's probably going to have to start reading the grids more accurately. Scheffler has now made two feet, uh, two putts out with 30 odd feet. It's just insane. Yeah, yellow and black. Both Aussies are still in with a shout. Hey, Big Tom, welcome to the live stream. So Leo will be starting to take his time on some of these putts, guys, because they are big putts and out. Some of these putts need to start dropping. Oh my god, it's a great effort. But yeah, Scheffler has a one-shot lead over Colin Morikawa. Max Homa, two shots behind at minus five. Allberg. It's three shots behind at minus three. Yeah, and then we've got Bryce and the shamble back at minus tip. three. And I think, it, is it Xander Shoffley as well? It's still in the mix. Cameron Smith, I think he's down there. I think he's six shots off the lead. And I think it's um, Cam Davis as well, who is five shots, I think. So it is going to be an interesting final round at the Masters. But thank you so much to everyone who is currently hanging out with us in the live stream. If you are enjoying the content and you haven't already you done so, please make sure to smash the like button. The the and if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe out. button. This is a brutal pin, guys, because anything left here, you will see the ball will just disappear down that slope. Wind is really helping Leo here, though. This is a tough shot, a tough pin. I tell you what, it needs to go. It's way short. This is now a tough up and down for par. He's came up way short there. Leo's braver than me because I'd be flopping this if it was me it was playing. It just shows you the difference in game styles, but he has to be aggressive now. He's played that fairly well. Needs to make that for the par. This will require the full attention. Thanks, Tom. Really appreciate it, pal. It's just something we are thinking about doing. I just like keeping Leo involved in the channel. It will be his channel. Eventually, he will be overtaking me. Scheffler again, man. Leo just gave me a wee look there as if to say, what, what is going on here? But Scotty Scheffler's putter is ice hot. White hot. Oh, Leo. Nope. That's been rushed. That that's poor. That's a really poor pop from him. Okay, it's a bogey here at number six. And, fall back. and he's now he's fallen back. Fall. Now we are sliding down the leaderboard here. After such a promising start. And he'll remain. You've got to get down in the worm cam in this course, guys. Scheffler running away with this but I do recall Greg Norman throwing away I think it was a nine shot lead over Nick Faldo and we're gonna have to see right. something similar to that today Leo's just got to slow down his play playing too quick in my opinion on this difficulty he's getting a lot of slows guys which is rare you can clearly tell it's him playing it's normally fast I get and it just shows you the difference in our, our swing styles from the fairway we checked in with Noda well positioned in the fairway 
but there is but no I do oh there's Scheffler's first mistake Leo has to be all over this like a rash now he has to try and birdie this this is a tough shot he does have access to the overhead green as well you can see the, the green sloping from back to front 8 to 12 mile per hour winds here slightly elevated just wants to make sure he gets up on the dance floor and hopefully gets it tight he's right at this it one's looking good he's right at it what a golf shot that is yeah, really nothing wrong with that approach shot just a little shy of where it's a nine foot putt but still for the birdie Greg Norman was a tremendous golfer, yeah, guys. I love watching him with the bucket the hats. And super job there out of the bunker. Same with Colin Montgomery. I don't think... Monty didn't even win a major, guys, but I just loved watching that man play golf. He was a terrific Ryder Cup player. But that's two golfers there that should have won a lot more in their career. Still had fantastic careers. This has to go, by the way. If anyone can convert this, it is Leo. Oh no. This is such an important putt now, he really overhit that. This is uphill, it is going to break from right to left despite it saying level. This has to go. And there you go, guys. We can kiss goodbye to winning the 2024 Masters now. It's just a case of Leo playing for, for second place, I would say. Scheffler as well. Didn't make the birdie. Leo had a great opportunity there. But Leo is now back to level par for the round. That one in. It is a bogey here at the seven. He's went bogey, bogey. He's fall to 17 under. And this is what Augusta can't do to you. So all my hard work, if minus eight, minus eight, is disappearing. But I'm convinced Leo will still shoot a sterling round here. This, he has to birdie this. He can even eagle this one because he can comfortably reach in two despite the wind, I think. He's got the yardage to get there. It's a great tee shot. It's a better swing as well, fast 0.2. Nothing wrong with that one. A legends career mode now would be outstanding, Blake. I would just love to see a skins mode. I know we've got skins mode for quick play, but I'd love to see an online skins mode for private lobbies. I think it's such a good game. Gonna take a big poke to get there, so Leo can get there, that'll be short, he's gonna have to go two with. The only problem he's got here is a tree line, but if you watch, Leo can shape the ball. A lot of skill required here. Look at that. This deserves to be good. It's actually a really good shot. I think this with the slow, probably lost about 20 yards there, but that wind was hitting him hard, but that was a terrific tee shot. Followed up by a smart play. It's a nice pin for Leo to go and attack here. It's fairly flat up there. Yet again, Scheffler not tight for birdie, but the way he's been putting. But it is a very favourable pin here. half of this fairway, which definitely increases your chance of getting it close because of the angle. Let's see if Leo can get dialed in here. He's playing the pitch. Pitch and run here by the looks of things. And he's came up way short. Under swing by 2.8%. And that will make it onto the putting surface. But ultimately, not a real good shot. Massive moment here. Pars are no use now. That was a poor shot from Leo. 
the pressure of Augusta Nationals clearly getting to him along with the live stream. But I'm convinced he'll still have some big moments in this round. Still plenty of golf left to be played. He's just going left of the centre of the cup here. It should turn back. It's a double breaker. It's got a chance, by the way. He's over, hits it again. Oh, no. This is bogey golf you're witnessing now. It's three consecutive bogeys. Oh, he nearly saved his part. And Leo's playing like Greg Norman here many moons ago. Scheffler, this is in, you can guarantee it's in. He's actually feeling a little bit of mercy for us here, I do believe. That's another drop shot from Leo. He's had two opportunities the last two holes where Scheffler's not birdied. But sadly, Leo's bogeyed them. And he drops to plus one for the round. And he'll drop back to 16 under par. I think we're fifth in the leaderboard. But stay tuned, guys. It's going to be all out attacking golf now. That's up the left side. It's a good tee shot. Well, there's good bounces. There's Course bad knowledge bounces. there from Scheffler. Anything that side is going to kick down. The fairway will slope from right to left, but you will see Leo draw the ball it's a good shot it's turning over beautifully as well that's a huge drive and that is actually the ideal position to play into this elevated green it's good to see the AI playing so quick now since the, the recent update that's a golf shot by the way Scheffler is playing unbelievable golf here from the fairway. Let's go to Noda. Well, from this section of the fairway, you have an opportunity to get the He's ball He's got close one arm in the sleeve of this green jacket already. It requires some good calculations on yardage and proper execution to get the ball to sit on the right plateau. This, this is money if it goes. What a golf shot, guys. Almost. Almost bounced in for Eagle. How good would have that have been? That's a tremendous response from Leo. If anyone's capable of clawing back seven shots from here, it is the young man to my right. There's no way that turns in. So he should be gaining a shot back here. Looked on target the whole way. He gets back to level par for the round after three consecutive bogeys. It was such a promising start. But this is a brutal golf course, guys. One mistake is going to be amplified and magnified ten times. Will Zalatoris in second, then a cluster of players at minus 17. Leo opt in for the draw shot yet again. That's incredible, guys. Look at the accuracy. That's going to be prime position yet again. Just coming up five or six yards short of that fairway bunker. Scheffler. He'll underswing this by 10% and leave himself probably about 170 yards in. He's actually playing a hybrid here. Don't understand that one. He's turned that over to the left as well. That's way short. A lot of work to be done here for Scotty Scheffler. 180 yards, I called it. And the payoff, slightly flat alive. And a better angle into this green that tips to the left. Nine holes remaining here, though. Anything can happen. Ball coming from this section of the fairway will produce a right to left ball flight, which makes accessing the left. That's going to come off the green, I think. No. With a low iron, 
from the fairway. Long iron and coming in there. He got a nice kick up the fairway. Uh, up the green even. Leo has to get his tight. That wind will push him. He doesn't want to generate too much backspin here. Needs to go. Needs to go. Don't spin. That's a tremendous golf shot. Wow. And if you haven't already done so, guys, smash the like button. That is the shot of the round so far. And the comeback is on. Scheffler misses this, which he should, because this is a ridiculous putt from right to left. Leo is back in this. And he has missed it. This is going to make an interesting few final holes, especially the back nine. So now eyeing this one for birdie. So Leo back to one under for the round after three consecutive bogeys. We should have on the, the PS5 camera here because Leo's face is just lit up. He looks like a man in the mood now. And he'll remain. He's got that cheeky grin back. No need for power drive here. Left hand side off the fairway is ideal. It's a great tee shot again. Found his rhythm. It's going to kick down to the left hand side. Prime location yet again from Leo to go and get close to this pin. Let's see what Scheffler can produce here. This will be another long approach shot for him. Minus 9% here. Minus 4.3, so he's actually went to that one. Still a long shot in. Water in play on the left-hand side here. 229 yards left for Scotty Scheffler. We just need him to make a couple of mistakes. Loving his outfit, to be fair. That's turning over. This could be a great shot, actually. There is a slope here. He has run up it. That is a very good shot from Scheffler. Mm, and how about that for a nice approach from way out? That one finds the green, but a birdie putt on tap. Yeah, yellow and black. The glory days of Tiger Woods was just tremendous. Wins taking this round nicely. This could kick left. It did. And that's another good shot. That's two good shots in. And this kind of has to go. You will see Leo's green reading technique here. He uses the bottom off the TV to look at the beads. So the straight edge on the TV, you'll see it here. You can tell that's breaking right to left. It's a very good technique he has. We thank you to everyone who is joining us this Sunday morning. It really is appreciated. He's going about three cups right. That's got a chance. Get in. Yes! What a putt that is from Leo. He gives it the big fist pump. And this young man is now cooking with gas. After three straight bogeys, I think it's three straight birdies. Scheffler's missed. Yes! We have a final round here at Masters. Leo now clawed it back to five shots, I do believe. And what a final round we are going to have here. This back nine is going to be absolutely exciting. Hold on to your seats. This is where it could all go wrong. Watch this wind fluctuate, guys. Currently 12 mile per hour, as you're seeing the yellow. It's actually staying pretty stable. It's a 12 mile per hour wind. He 
He struck it well. He struck it really well. That is a nice landing area. That's not a bad putt from there. That is a good shot from Leo because that wind was swirling. That is a really good golf shot. It's a nice putt from that area. Let's see what Scheffler can do here. Race Creek would be ideal. Crowd like it. Crowd like it. He's missed the green. Now I'm sure that's all downhill for Scheffler here. The green, but it shouldn't be too bad from back there. Let's see if Leo can produce another moment of magic. The shadows on the green are causing havoc here. It's left to right. He's checking every green grid. Slightly downhill. Most of the turn here is at his feet. This has got a chance. This has got a chance. Go. He's under hit it. That was right in the heart of the cup there. This is a tough shot for Scheffler. I don't think he can be too aggressive here. That's gone. That's gone. Go. Go. What we would give for Scheffler to miss this par pot. You'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap in? It's uphill. Be a grind. Oh, it's a good and par pot. There, it is a par here at 12. And he'll remain right where he is. That Two par fives coming up out of the next three holes, though. Leo's got the yardage to reach right the two of them in two. Now, does he shape it here? Does he draw it? I don't think he really has to with the wind. He'd be a brave man to shape that. He is. This young lad has got a set of balls on him. Yeah, that's a good shot. Wind will push it back. Oh, no. I did not expect that. He's so lucky. Oh, no. I did think the shaping, it was unnecessary. What has he done? There was no need to shape it. I thought he caught a break there, but he's in Ray's Creek. Scheffler laying up with a hybrid. He's smart. He knows he's got one arm in this green jacket. Wow. Scheffler is getting the breaks. I don't think he was going for the green there anyway. He was clearly laying up. But he just cambered into that tree. Leo's just got to try and get par here. There's no point trying to be a hero. He will have to probably shape this. And hopefully leave himself a pitch. Maybe even a full finesse wedge in. Look at that shot shaping though, guys. That's tremendous. He just didn't need to do it off the tee. I called it. There was no need for it. And it's probably cost him any comeback now. Stranger things have happened though. Imagine he holds out here. Good line, it should come back off the backstop. Should come back. Had to go for it. Had to go for it. He's got a bit of work to do there to save the par, but he needed to birdie this, guys. He's just playing for second place now. Scheffler doesn't have an easy birdie putt here either. This is a nasty putt. A lot of movement left to right here. Yeah, Blake, it was always going to be a tough ask. That three bogeys, potentially four bogeys here, has just absolutely killed him. If it wasn't for that, I think he would have won this. 
but Scheffler's played unbelievable golf. The AI is set at 100, guys. We are playing on simulation difficulty. I fancy Leo to make this, though. That's an unbelievable par. That is a tremendous par save from him. The only frustrating thing is he didn't gain a shot on Scheffler there. But it's still all to play for. Is Scheffler going to make a mistake? It doesn't look like it currently. But can Leo catch Zalatoris, who I think is in the clubhouse at minus 22? Ideally, you want to take this down the left-hand side. You will have to shape this. It's a great golf shot. Superb tee shot and there. A good shot up the hill and into the fairway at 14. What I would give to be able to shape the ball with that accuracy. It's absolutely incredible on simulation difficulty. Scheffler taking his time here. This could be a good sign. He's fine, that'll kick hard right. Course knowledge there though, he is getting a member's bounce, but I think clearly he knows the course. You want to be up that left hand side, as long as you're not too far left. That's went left. Tremendous shot. For one second, I thought he was going way left there, but the wind did bring it back. Leo's got to match that. This is a downhill slope defending this pin. This is tough. He's going to have to play full loft here. This is a tough, tough approach shot. It's a lovely strike. Tell you what. Tell you what, it should kick right. Oh, it's a golf shot. Wow, look at that. That's class. Absolute class. What an entertaining round of golf, guys. It certainly got my heartbeat going. Scheffler. The world number one. Nothing but cup. Virtually... It's, it's Leo, it's world number one here currently. This is season two. This is a tough part. There's a little bit of movement in it, guys. Right edge. Yeah, solid. That's a confident part. Leo moves to three under for the round. It's been a sterling effort. Take out that four bogeys. Three bogeys. And he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Scheffler. Now, I don't think Scheffler will reach this green in two. Leo can easily. He risked the power drive there. Played it superbly. 2-4-1. Four holes of golf remaining. It's a fart, Blake. Yeah, it's a it's fact. Scheffler's just going to lay up. I would love for him to go fairway. for it. Let's go to but no. Looking Looks like a four iron. Shot in golf, but don't let the beauty fool you. There is trouble everywhere. He's played it well. Yeah, no Leo can reach. He's going to have to go for it. A it's a tough green to hold, part. but the wind is in his favour. Probably going to have to overpower this one just to make sure. This is a risky golf shot, guys, but it's one he has to go for. Eagle gets him right back in it. Oh, that's a great shot. It's a great golf shot. Probably the best he could have done. Very ballsy shot there. But he's at the stage where it's all or nothing now. He's got an eagle putt. That's going right, by the way. That's long. Come on, spin off the green, spin off the green, spin off the green. Get off, get off, get in Ray's Creek. 
In golf, you it's know, a birdie putt. Mulligan, you'd love that to do over there, wouldn't you? I mean, that's just... But Leo playing the smart play there. Range. He has left himself an uphill putt. I'm sure he'll read the beads here and not just guess it. Eagle gets him right back in this. He's opting not to read the grids. This is a putt all about feel. It's a great effort. It's a great effort. It's a tap in birdie from three feet. Surely Scheffler can't keep draining these putts from 20 plus feet. A lot of movement right to left uphill. This is just sick, guys. What chance you have? What chance do you have when he's playing as well as that? Leo moves to minus 21. Three shots off Zalatoris. We're just hoping that Scotty Scheffler can have a Jean van der Velde moment. Can Leo get this one tight and put the pressure on him? Six iron finesse. It's a lovely strike. It's a lovely strike. Needs to go though. That underswing and slow cost him there. I think if he doesn't slow that, he's got a birdie putt. He'll get up and down for the par. That's went way left. Oh, he's fortunate. Another three or four yards left. That is in the drink. Is Scheffler starting to feel the pressure here? That's no gimme for par. Leo could potentially hold this out. Oh, it's a great effort. He's in for par though. <laughs> Just about flew that one in the hole. Sheffler Luckily from seven feet. Not a bad shot. Breaking from right to left. Wow. Drops in the side door. It's been flawless goal from Scheffler. Sometimes you've just got to applaud that. It's been a good effort from Leo. Minus four for the day. Three bogeys though. That's what's killed him. That's a good shot. Really good tee shot. Made sure he took that down the right hand side. Tight, tight fairway here. Has Scheffler got a moment of madness in him though? No, straight down the middle. He's flushed it. He's going to be about 50 yards behind Leo yeah, though easily. No 183. In the short so it at his back as he readies his second. His iron four. play has been really good. But for me, Scheffler's won this event on the greens. That's bunker. I tell you what, he's had some kicks. Nine times out of ten, that ball com comes back into the sand there. Very fortunate break. So I own a this it's a tough pin, though. From the fairway. We're Leo can be pretty aggressive here. Yards to the flag. Pin in the middle, so it's a green light. It's a good strike. He's all over it. He's all over it like a rash. He's all over it like a rash. What a golf shot. This could be such an entertaining 18 if Scheffler can make a mistake here. Please go, please go. I think he'll make it. We would love for him to make bogey. You're being too kind. That's not at all ideal. Left to right from eight feet. He's his pattern's being immaculate, guys. It's dead weight, too. Leo should gain a shot here, though. Uphill. Is right to left.
crowd is silent. But not now. It's another birdie on the scorecard. It's been a great effort from Leo. Zalatara shot a superb 62. That's insane. It's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. Should kick left though. Yeah, he's fine. He's past the tree. Wind's going to help him out there as well. He was just making sure Bunker was taken out of the equation there. Scheffler coming up way short. Oh my God! Oh, that a beautiful tee shot through the shoot here at 18. 200 yards into the wind. Ideal. Elevated green, tough pin. What's he done? What has Scheffler done there, guys? Is there a moment here for Leo to put a little bit of pressure on him? What is going on with Scheffler? I can't understand that shot. Leo's got to take advantage, but that is a brutal pin. He's playing for the backstop past the flag stick. He's got to go for it, guys. There's, there's no point playing safe. Can we get a wonder hole out here? It's a good strike. It's a great shot, by the way. He's played it superbly. He's played it superbly. That's a good shot. I just can't understand Scheffler laying up there. He's played it well. He's played it well. Full confidence in a short game. And that's a gimme from Scheffler from 13 feet. He has missed nothing on the greens today. Could Leo finish strong here? This is for a minus six round. This is for a 66. I'm sure anyone playing later on in today's real event would bite your hand off for a, a 66. Before they teed off. Should turn. Should turn. Oh my goodness. What a wonder putt that is from Leo. And he would have had this in the bag, guys, if it wasn't for that three bogeys. He parred the par five as well. But what an effort. I have fully enjoyed commentating on that. Scheffler bogeys as well on the final hole. I do believe it's going to stay out. And he will win this event by one stroke, I think, over Zalan Horus, is it? As that one is What's a playoff off. here, guys? What actually happens here? Leo's called it. Off the pace. Right, wait a minute. What is going on here, guys? Let's just stop for a second. Why is Leo involved in this playoff? We'll take it. Hold on to your seats, guys, because something miraculous may happen here. I have never seen this. Leo should not be involved in the playoff. He is two shots behind. That is going to be short of the bunker. It's a good golf shot. It's brave. I cannot believe what we're witnessing here. So, Frank, not quite enough to get the job done in the oh, You'd agree. Titles are nice. I think it must just top five um, initiate you're gonna do just the playoff just there, guys, for the for the like two computer today, guys so to uh, for the two five, AI players to go toe to toe. To toe. On the back. It'll be interesting to see who's so won this. Zalatoris, did it? I'm Rich Lerner. We'll I think Zalatoris won the playoff there, guys. It's not it's not clearly showing us in the the leaderboard there, but like I say, 10 under 62, what a round that was. But thank you so much for hanging out with us this Sunday morning, guys. It's been a pleasure. I really hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please make sure to smash the like button. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Hopefully the real thing this afternoon is going to be as entertaining as that. But until the next video, guys, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.